Greetings to the Artist Journal family. We are here live in Gambia. What's the name of this beach? This is Kolili. Kolili. We are at Kolili, Kolili Beach. Beach. Um, right in the heart of Senegambia. Gambia. Uh, this is the Artist Journal. This is a platform that we are growing out. It's in its infancy. And we hope that you guys help us to grow the channel. <clears throat> We are here in the Gambia for the past week. Um, we have another week to go. And we wanted to come and just survey the terrain, get with the locals, um, look at some land, potentially. And um, we, we understand that America is not it and that we must speedily not anxiously, not all, all out of control, but strategically. strategically plan our exit. So we're here in the Gambia on the beach taking in a good vibe. And I uh, just wanted to come on here and express to you guys what we observed and experienced thus far. So we flew into Morocco, Casablanca that is, and to be honest, the vibe was 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 kind of nice. It was nice. We had a long layover, so it was good to just get out, check out Morocco. I've never been to Morocco before. Right. Go to the craft market, talk to the locals. So that was a good right. layover. So we had a 13-hour layover. So we wanted to spend that time doing something outside of the airport. So we went to the, the Civic Center in, what was the name of that city? I think that was like Center City, like Central's. Okay, we're going to go with what she's saying. <laughs> Center City area. But the actual marketplace is called the, the Civic Centers. Center. The Central Market. Central Market. Yes. Guys, in this market, they literally had everything, including your high-end replica, Gucci, um, Ralph Lauren, Kristen Anything. Dior, Travis Scott, I mean, Rolexes, yeah. and all kind of stuff. High-end sneakers. High-end sneakers. They had exotic oils. They had, like, your ouds. For those of you who are into, like, body oil, oh, man, they had a nice selection of oud, which I, I got some. Um, so our driver, my man, uh, Mahdi, he got us around the country like easy, nice, and um. The Airbnb was like ten minutes from the airport. Yeah, it was like ten minutes nice, from the airport. Super nice, super quiet. And clean. to navigate through the airport was seemingly for our first time there was easy, in and out, in and out, in and out. And um, yeah. So fast forwarding to to the Gambia. It, it is really, I understand why they call it the smiling coast of Africa. Because literally, though it has, you know, it's set of issues here, we're not gonna highlight that today. But we understand why they call it the smiling coast. Literally, everyone greets you, talk to you, uh, make an effort to, to say hi. And it's something that we don't get in the States. You know, people, shy away from each other people don't want to be in each other's space you know so coming here we understand why they call it the smiling coast of west africa Thanks. um so upon coming our driver was punctual on time got us out of the airport you know got us to the airbnb provided everything <clears throat> which was a smooth transition for us. Like, we had all the amenities, except we wanted to really come over here and, and kind of cook and showcase. She wanted to showcase her skills in Africa. But unfortunately, the stove wasn't working. That is the only downside. It was. I was looking forward to cooking much, most of the time. Yeah. So. so that's the only downside to the Airbnb, but it's still nice. We are close to the beach and we kind of close to everything. 
um, we Googled and bumped into a beautiful couple from the UK that has a 100% plant-based vegan restaurant here in the Gambia. It's called Vibrations. I'll let the beautiful Jessica explain that situation. <laughs> so I even had to leave a review because the food there never disappoints. It's always amazing, full of flavor, full of seasonings, super clean. Uh, Somalia is gluten-free, so they always have great gluten-free. Thank you, sir. They always have great gluten-free options for him. Freshly, you understand? <laughs> Fresh baobab from the Rasta man himself. <laughs> Jano! <laughs> Wait a minute, man. Sorry. <laughs> so vibration is always a vibe. We, we've been eating there almost every single night. We did find another Indian spot that we kind of visited twice. But other than that, vibration is our go-to, so. Yeah, excellent food. Um, they have uh, chickpea fritters. Vibrations, they have the curry lentil. They have the kidney bean. My favorite was like the spiced mushrooms and pepper. Yeah. That was super good. They have their wraps. Chickpea wraps. Chickpea wraps. Um, they have vegan wine there. Just a beautiful experience. And I, and I have to say, the customer service, the way they treat people, it's like your family, you know what I mean? So we will, they, they have a lifelong customer <laughs> with us. Thanks. Um, I have to mention my man Sharif, local Gambian. Uh, he's our host actually here. He, he rented a car for us. Um, he's been taking us everywhere. And I'm gonna tell you about this brother Sharif. When we asked him, could he help us out with the trip, I asked him, Sharif, how much would you need to host us for two weeks? You all want to guess his response? He said, man, I cannot charge you. I'm not exaggerating. He said, you are my brother and the queen, that's my sister. I cannot charge you. <laughs> and I told Jessica what he said. We didn't believe, like, this is crazy. So we took it upon ourselves to put a budget together and to pay Sharif, you know, for his time. And we paying them nice. So we just want to foster great relationships here in the Gambia. And we're not coming here to take, 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 take. No, we coming in here to share and to learn mostly from the locals, you know, how to be and how to best fit in to the Gambia um, way of doing things. This brother has taken us everywhere, like I said, and we have some more trips planned before we get out of here. We've been here a week already. We have a week to go. And tomorrow we got something for you guys. We're going up in a, a rainforest. Yep, I'm not sure the name, but rainforest we're going into a rainforest so i know that's going to be a vibe and all what he's putting together for us and also sharif the closing of eid uh closing out of ramadan he invited us to his family uh house compound we ate good food they made fresh uh hibiscus um how you doing sir made fresh hibiscus drink we had what was on the menu it was a type of a fried potato she made us a fresh salad with uh, green pepper green tomatoes in there cucumbers just very clean nice cabbage fresh cabbage and she made like a homemade vinaigrette type of vibe so it was super good and it was kind of amazing because they're not vegan we are plant based not them and for her, for her to like lay that out, like that was that was dope. Very clean and fresh. Um, 
Yeah, so the trip thus far, family, has been extremely eye-opening. It's been a lot of good vibes, a lot of energy. We also, <clears throat> if you go look, it's a couple out here, and they have a platform that's called the Black Acres of the Gambia. Big YouTube uh, situation. And we went out there and... They showed us like a lot of love and giving us a lot of tips and advice on how to navigate here in the Gambia. So we are so honored for one that they invited us in their in their home, in their land, and um, look forward to meeting back up with them. And um, is there anything we missing? I don't think so. I'm just. So blessed to be here this week. It just been truly amazing. And I'm looking forward to next week. Absolutely. And we got some land type stuff brewing. So we want to show you guys <laughs> if we acquire a plot or two while we're here. So if you haven't yet, guys, please hit that like button, share the video. And subscribe to the channel help us grow and be one of those marquee channels that you come to just to catch a vibe when you're at home sipping your tea or drinking your wine make our platform one of your favorites this is the artist journal until next time